In today's video, I am going to be breaking down what the gather step is because a lot of people think that this is some new rule that is there to benefit NBA players. Well, this is actually a rule that's been a rule since even I was a kid back in the early 1990s and even before then. They just reworded the rules so that they were easier to be understood, but it still confuses people. So let's get down and let's actually check out what a, what a gather step really is. Okay, so here's our first example. We have David right here. He just received the pass and he is in the air. I'll even rewind it just a bit so that we understand that yes, he did receive the ball while in the air. This is extremely important to understand because in the rules, you do not establish a pivot foot until you land, which means that the step that you just took to go and receive that pass is not a step. This is your gather. You are gathering the ball while you are in the air. You haven't even taken a step yet with the ball. And then when you land, here David lands on his left foot. That's his pivot. Unless you're American in high school, in which case the right foot is now his pivot. And they have a, rear, a weird uh, way of reading or understanding the rule in that book, but in FIBA and NBA and NCAA, it is the left foot in this case that is the pivot. That is the foot that stays planted on the ground if you want to pivot around. However, in the States, the, move, the foot that moves is considered the pivot foot. And no, I'm not making this stuff up. That's exactly what the rule book states. Which means that now David's left foot is pivot according to FIBA, NBA, and NCAA rules because that's the foot that he landed on after receiving the pass. He has not taken a step yet. So this is technically considered the zero step. So whether you hear the terminology of zero step or gather step, it's the exact same thing. It's when you gather or receive the ball, you take a step because you haven't taken a step yet. You were in the air and then that is your pivot, the zero step. At this time, you go right foot, that's step one. You're allowed two steps in basketball, technically two and a half. Then, David goes to his left foot. This is his second step. Like a regular layup, you take two steps. This has been the rules forever. You're allowed two steps. A lot of people think that you can only take one step because in the American high school rule book, they say you can only take one step after pivot. But the pivot foot that they are talking about is not the foot that's planted on the ground. It's the foot that moves. There's also the fact that if you don't go for a shot or a, or, or a pass, then you technically can't put your pivot, the foot that's on the ground, back on the ground before you start a dribble. However, if you're going for a shot or a pass, you are allowed two steps, whether you just received the ball or whether you were dribbling beforehand. And then when we look at this, he goes up into the air. He then makes his shot before he lands. He lets go of it while he's still in the air. And then he lands, makes the basket. Technically could have been a foul considering that this guy was not exactly planted when David ran into him and he was also leaning, which is outside of his cylinder. Uh, that's at least the rules up here. If a player is outside of their cylinder, in which case this player was, then that is a foul on him. But the referees were not calling much fouls in this game, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He still made the basket, but they called a travel. Uh, I just wanted to straighten this out because a lot of people online are saying that this is a travel. Here's another example now, next, where if you're dribbling the ball, what a gather step is there. Okay, so here is a great example off of the dribble. Here we have Caden. He takes that dribble right there, and now he receives that, or he's got that ball on his left foot, and then he goes right, left, and then he goes up for that layup. While some online may say that this is a travel, his hand was on top of that ball until he got to his left foot. He gathered the ball while both of his feet right here, we can see it sort of right there. I can't zoom in, but those two feet he gathered right there. Both of his feet were in the air. He goes left, right, 
and then he goes up for his layup. However, because he gathered the ball while both of his feet were in the air right here, it's hard to really show it here but anyways uh that is uh something that he can actually take one more step either way this would be the same idea but we have Jaden who has already established a pivot foot when he picks the ball up because he picks the ball up on his left foot he's not in the air this is his pivot if he was for example in the air and he landed on his left foot now it's still a pivot. However, he picked the ball up while the left foot was on the ground. He goes right, left, big steps. This is a very good key if you want to be able to score easier is to take big steps when you're attacking the rim. And then he's able to go up. That was two steps. The gather was the was when he gathered the ball while his foot was still on the ground. It's still a gather step, but he's not in the air. So these are different ways of really looking at it and understanding what we're actually watching in game. We see it very clearly right here with Caden as well. He receives this ball when he is in the air. Both of his feet are in the air. So the gather, the zero step would be the left foot right there. That is zero step because he gathered in the air. He landed, he established a pivot foot. That is now his pivot foot. His right foot goes down, that's step number one. And then he goes with his left foot one more time, which is step number two. This is a gather step. Anyways, I hope that this video has really helped you understand what a gather step is and see that it's actually been in the game for a lot longer than many people think. Anyways, hit that like button, subscribe. I'm probably gonna get a whole bunch of hate down in the comment section below anyways. So of course, I'll see you guys again in my next video.